The 1989 Batman film directed by Tim Burton was described at the time as too violent and too dark. And I gotta kind of be honest, I watched the movie. It's on Netflix right now. I really don't see it. Like, there's, like, occasionally comedic banter going on. And there's also... And the, and also, let's get to the Joker being the man that assassinates uh, Batman's parents, murders them, uh, how he was said. Like, I honestly was not really mad about it. Like, okay, this is, a net, this is a different take on the Batman universe. This is, like, its own little alternative universe. So, really, I, I get in the comics, but haven't they always changed the story up every single time? There's, like, multiple Earths, pretty much. Like in New 52, the originals and all that. So when that, so when that change kind of be obviously coming since, well, this is an alternative universe of an alternative universe of an alternative universe. But overall, I couldn't really see it being too dark and violent. It's, I mean, I get it. It's from its time, yes. But overall, I didn't really think of that when I saw it this year. So. My opinion on that was kind of, is kind of like compare this to the Dark Knight's Joker, like then you would say the Batman of nineteen eighty nine was family friendly compared to the Dark Knight, and Jack Nicholson as the Joker, like okay, Jack Nicholson is crazy. He looks the role of a crazy person. He fits the role perfectly, and he was more of the comic book villain. So, and I gotta be honest, I couldn't really take it seriously. Not that disturbing smile he always had on his face. More like how he would act comedic at times and do the Prince songs. And I'm like, this is meant to be dark, right? Not be so happy-go-lucky, evil evil like But overall, like... And Michael Keane as Batman, I thought it was a solid performance. And then when he confronted the Joker... <laughs> I have to be honest, like, there's just one thing I do know that a lot of movies that Batman doesn't do. He doesn't kill anybody. Like, he, like, two times I saw Batman kill somebody. He killed a henchman, and he killed the Joker. And I'm like, dude! Batman just straight up murdered two people! And I couldn't help but think back to uh, Film Brain and the Sage's review of Batman Returns, where Phil Brain says, Batman! Fighting for truth, justice, and casual murder? In this case, casual vengeance. But... <laughs> but, like, the movie was, was good. Like, it was, for its time, a great movie. Now it's a little dated. Like, some of the effects will feel dated. As, and I could tell the the scene where the Batmobile sh blocks itself off like, and that shell thing. Like, I could tell that looks more claymation or filmation kind of style. Like, I, like I couldn't take that as real. Like, couldn't they, like, when they re-released it, put some digital effects to it? Like, just, just so the effects don't look so dated? Like, not, like, do it like the special editions of Star Wars, but just add a little ch alter changes, some minor details to make it look more authentic. But overall, like, other than that, the movie was good. Um, I only saw it once recently. Like, I couldn't really watch it again for some reason. I think it's because of how dated some of it feels, or somehow it just feels, I don't know, like <laughs> Batman murdering people in this movie. Like, he murdered two people. That's not Batman. That's Michael Keaton just going on a serial rampage. And, like I said, the Joker being the one that murders Bruce's parents in this story doesn't really bother me. I like I know Joe Chill, as his name was called in the comics, was the one who murdered them, but like I didn't really see much anger toward. I don't really get the anger towards the Joker being the one to do it. It would have been more like the how this whole phrase of "we're destined to do this forever" would have played in as well like joker was the catalyst for batman batman was the catalyst for the joker it could have been like that i think that's what they were going for but overall the movie was solid it has some decent effects it had good acting jack nicholson as the joker was an excellent choice and the, and then heath ledger came into the picture and pretty much destroyed jack nicholson's character once and for all and then there's Christian Bale as Batman, which I will get to in another video. Um, but overall, like I did like this movie, and it was fun. 
This is Neo Reality Entertainment. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and donate, and stay tuned for more.